JD here. Today we're playing a, a game called King's Quest. It's a series that I've had on my list for a while, and it it actually it 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 caught my eye. It looks really good, and like I don't know. I'm always I've, I've always been a huge fan of like Renaissance Fair time and like the theme itself and storytelling so let's see what this has to offer us sorry about smacking the mic let's go explore why don't we ah look at my lovely red cape It's a, it's a, a leaky well, or a drippy well, or something. Don't finger that shit. <laughs> now let's see about going down. Down, 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 and goblin down. Ooh -hoo. And down, 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 down I've we go. I've been back oh. there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Mm, a mattress. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Is Emmett Brown the narrator? Uh, uh, the scientist from uh, Back to the Future? Or the page master from Page Master? The, the librarian fellow? This is one heck of a well. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot. Contraptions has guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. We are gonna choose the right one, because if we choose the right one, we know it's not the wrong one. And if the right one isn't the right one, we know that the one that is left is right. Hmm, now I'm kind of curious what this one does. <laughs> and that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. That's amazing. So I was right. The right one was right. Therefore, the one that is to your left is wrong. That is why I always take the right way. That way I can say I was always right. <laughs> Let me break your brain. Why don't you? Pockets, barrels, monitors, and beds were jammed in every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. Why? Why is it? Why are there beds hanging from the ceiling? Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. <laughs> this is amazing. Just ah. No, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites. We'll get there, Gwendolyn. No worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. <laughs> now. Where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that death. Oh no, why does it keep doing that? No! Let Grandpa tell the story! 
No, not back. <laughs> it's a bridge made out of beds. What the heck? <laughs> this is awesome. It's absolutely beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was fabled mirror. Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. You want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to... Add a shinier hat to my collection. Nice. This is so cool. This is absolutely what it feels like to have your dad or your grandpa tell you a story as a little kid in like you're I picturing tried all this shit. Crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Some silly conundrum. <laughs> this is so amazing. But why beds? He's just a sleep deprived old man who just wants to tell stories about beds. I feel like that's a bad idea. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon, breaking the spirit of hideous beasts, amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing hands. <laughs> oh boy. So, the missing handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Then I used my cleverness to hide. What cleverness? Help! Can I hide over here behind the bed? And that's how I knew the dragon appreciated my good taste. Grandpa. Another pun? Well, we are just getting started. Oh my gosh, this game is a game after my own heart. Oh my gosh. Puns. Great jokes. Freaking stupid ass. Beds from the ceiling. Dragons. A freaking twig man as the all oh, freaking. What is this? This was no time to take a nap. I was just trying to find a decent spot to hide. I also love the fact that when he starts to talk, after you do something wrong, he will tell you basically what you're supposed to do. That is so charming. The handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> my cleverness, yeah. Look at me go. We're gonna try and hide in the bed. Fudge knuckles. Fudge knuckles. Fudge knuckles. Fudge knuckles. Fudge knuckles. Fudge knuckles. Ah. Why are there beds everywhere? Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. If it's a feat only for skilled oh, archers, and they're not there... Is missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What did you use to fix the bur... Can you be any louder? 
Like, please. Try. <laughs> the dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. Am I supposed this to? This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Uh huh. This game makes me happy. <laughs> After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Ah, uh, same, same. If I don't... There's someone catching a ride in that fucking bed, and he's super fucking dead. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it so much. It makes me happy. <laughs> Look at him. Why? Why would you die that way in there like that? I feel like. Is there Using beds as his excuse to survive. Just, I slept in. <laughs> I had a feeling that the freaking skulls and shit were gonna make things harder. Fuck my life in two pieces in this big ski resort. Was I fast enough? Oi, oi, oi. Like, I'm actually tensing up trying to, like, I'm sorry, my face is, like, super in the camera. Hi! I am an anxiety ridden potato and my anxiety is like <laughs> I'm sorry for now I won't have a background other than you know my actual room because I don't have the stuff to be able to hang my curtains anymore so yeah um, do I try and go up or do I I'm supposed to try and get the mirror from him right <laughs> Makes me happy though. Ugh. <laughs> the puns and just the music and ah! Jump! Huh. 
Is it you? Are you there? Let's see. I, this trap, thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. of beds I didn't realize that till just now I love how it's all a bunch of beds is this his way of keeping it PG for his grandchild because if it is that's fucking fantastic Mira, hello a ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast Probably its owner alive. Grab it and get out.
somebody get stuck? Oh, I was, I was supposed to. Okay. Okay. Way to go, Grandpa. pretty the atmosphere is so fun and just all around like wood <laughs> thank god I had a cushion with me <laughs> apparently I love my hat it's like an Indian Jones sort of thing Run away! magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. It feels kind of like, um, Princess Bride, but instead of watching it, you're actually, like, playing it. second I had three choices in front of me any would clear my path to safety and all would have rippling consequences I hope I made the right choice. What if it were me? I'd have set him free. Poor thing has nobody else to take care of him. I'm pretty sure his master died hanging on to that stupid bell, so yeah. My hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's <laughs> back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just 
a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. <laughs> I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. <laughs> All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I would mind a slice of magic fruit. That was absolutely adorable, and oh my gosh, yes, please. I, I'm going to buy the rest of these freaking chapters. I am playing the entire series. This is just mm, my heart. It feels so... the dragon come back for me. Hi. <laughs> well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa Strikes. Especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes. The legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before, or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. Soon enough you won't sure be there, I honey. I'm the telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. I wish I could sit and just listen to stories like when I was a Come kid. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. Oh I'll boy. Get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues. Like the fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, please don't bother. After all, mm -hmm. I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... A quick-witted distraction or an act of kindness even in victory. Treating my opponents with respect surprised what opens up to you a lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through, through their, their stomach, stomach. <laughs> speaking of that reminds me of a story one I know you haven't heard before 
When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I'd seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. You know what? We're gonna call that an episode, and we're gonna we're gonna make the tournament this upcoming episode. So, um, if you have made it this far, please remember to like and subscribe. I uh, greatly appreciate all of your support and kindness, and just being all around amazing people. Um. Great thanks to Mark Denying Pants 22, uh, Alexander Valentine, uh, <laughs> a couple new names here, uh, Snowy Skies, and Mark. I can never pronounce your name, but I really, really, really appreciate you and everything you do for me. Thank you so much. You're amazing, and I love you. Mwah. You can find me on uh, TikTok, Instagram. Like I said, Patreon and OnlyFans now. I have one of those set up, and I'm going to do my best to uh, put out some decent content. Financial situation's changing, and I'm, I'm doing my best to try and pick up some slack. So uh, anything that you can do to help, be it sharing my page with somebody, a dollar, ten dollars, fifteen, it doesn't matter. Every little bitty bit helps. Thank you so much for everything. Again, if you made it this far, please like, subscribe, uh, push the bell, click the bell, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.